Hi, this is Tara Marina with ElegantFemme.com. I want to talk to you about something today that recently came up. One of my clients asked me this on Monday, and it's such an important question because throughout my journey and really throughout my life when things really started to pick up for me is when I was making sure that this one component was critical in my life. And that is, how do you choose a mentor, right? But more importantly is, how do you avoid the top three mistakes in choosing a mentor so that you can really as a woman have the best results when you do make that choice because you know I will trust that you're with us and you understand how important having a mentor is this is something that changes everything when you have somebody that's supporting you and guiding you and holding you accountable and somebody that's been where you want to go it's a critical component to allowing you to take that next step I have done this in my business and in my personal life for years and years and just recently I have some new mentors that came into my circle because of the new venture with the lingerie line. So this is something I find really important. And it's also important how you step into a mentor, a mentor relationship and so that you're mentally aware of the choice that you're making. So I want to teach you the, the top three mistakes and how to avoid them, okay? So number one is wanting a mentor to fix it for you. Now, I know I'm being a little courageous by even sharing that with you because I could pat it and sugarcoat it and say, just choose a mentor and everything will be perfect. But I find that a lot of women will come into mentor relationships and just want to give all the responsibility to, to the mentor. Just fix it for me. Just figure it out. Just, just make it happen for me. And in fact, one of my most recent mentors was very clear with me in the beginning that, Tara, I need you. This is yours. This is your baby. You need to step up and you need to step into this. And that's one of the top mistakes that I see men, women making, wanting the mentor to fix it. When you go into a mentor relationship, you need to be and understand that you have full responsibility for your results. Now that can be scary for us as women, right? Because if we're hesitant and a little fearful about what it is we can create and what it is we're really wanting to step into, we sometimes can give ourselves a way out and say, oh, it was the mentor's fault or it's that person's fault. And we can blame our failures on somebody. But let me tell you, when you really take responsibility in your life and in your mentor relationship, yes, if failures happen, which I don't even believe in failures, but if something happens that you didn't totally anticipate, it's yours. And you know what? The successes are yours. So step into a mentor relationship taking full responsibility and not just wanting the mentor to fix it. This is a beautiful, gorgeous relationship and an opportunity for you to increase your sense of self-worth and self-confidence, okay? Number two, the second mistake I see is women choosing a mentor solely based on the results and not how those results were achieved. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. You might think about a mentor that has achieved what it is you want. Maybe it's a level of prosperity. Maybe it's um, a relationship. Whatever it is you're really seeking, right? And it's important for you to find a mentor that has achieved what it is you're wanting to achieve yourself, okay? We'll give that a given. So say you're looking at somebody who's made um, a, a, the amount of money that you want, okay? Yes, that's important, but don't forget this piece. How did that person achieve that result? Were they working 24 seven? Did they have a team of 50 people? Did they um, have a, a home office and, and, uh, and that's the way they did? Did they have a big, huge office? W what is it? How did they achieve the result that they wanted? It's really important for you to not only as a woman think, okay, that's the result I want, but the lifestyle. How did they achieve it? I'm really, really in tune with this for myself. I've built my business in a way that's really congruent to the truth of who I am. I'm a wife. I'm a mother, I love elegance, I love beauty, I love ease, I love travel. These are pieces I've incorporated in my business. And I can't tell you how many women will come to mentor with me and say, Tara, I chose you as my mentor because you're a wife and a mom and I know you get that. Or because you travel the world and that's what I wanna do. Or because you, you really believe in beauty and elegance and grace and I, I'm into that, how can I do that? So it's not just the result, but it's how can I achieve the result in the way that I want to. So it's really, really important that when you're looking for a mentor, you ask those two questions. Is that the result I want? Okay, good, check. And how are they achieving it, all right? Because it's really, really important, all right? Now the last one, and this is another really big mistake, and we, we tend to do this um, 
we tend to do this. So let me, let me tell you what that final mistake is. Choosing a mentor that feels overly comfortable or easy. Now let me explain to you what I mean. Yes, it is important that you choose a mentor that you can um, find comfort and confidence in and share your truth and be able to communicate, okay? However, it's also very important that you choose a mentor that is going to challenge you and stretch you and assist you in growing. And that doesn't always feel comfortable. So I can't tell you how many women I know that have chosen a mentor because it felt easy, right? That woman's not really at the, the ultimate level of success that I want to be at, so I'm, I'm sure she's not going to hold me that accountable. Or, or another thing that has to do with comfort is the level of investment. Right? Choosing a mentor that it's really easy to afford. Now, I'm not saying I want you to choose something you cannot afford, okay? Uh, although there's a lot of energy around that. Choosing something that feels extremely affordable, no problem. You're not stretching, okay? What you can afford in your life right now is what you already have. If you're wanting new results and you're wanting a greater vision, it's going to require you to grow and stretch, and it might require you to grow and stretch your level of investment from what you currently feel you can afford. So when you're choosing a mentor, I want you to feel into, all right, is this person, do I feel a little bit uncomfortable? You should feel a little bit uncomfortable. You should feel a little bit nervous. When I'm about to step into a big mentor relationship, it's not like, oh, no problem. I feel like, whoa, here we go. Here we go. I can feel the energy of what this person is going to expect from me and what I can require from myself when I step into that relationship. And it should feel like that. It should feel a little bit bigger than where you are. Okay? So those are the top three mistakes that we very, very often we make when we're choosing a mentor. And I want you to choose a mentor. That's a given. And I want you to step into your mentor relationship so that you as a woman can get the best results that you can from that relationship. So I want you to leave a comment below and I want you to leave a comment regarding why it is you haven't yet stepped into the mentor relationship that you know you're supposed to. Leave a comment below and let me know. Tara Marina with Elegant Femme and I have an appointment for a bikini wax in 15 minutes. <laughs>